Researchers at Colorado State University have released their early forecast for hurricane season 2024. Next Weather Chief Meteorologist Ivan Cabrera joins us now with the breakdown. And Ivan, looks like we're in for a busy season. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and uh, we talk about uh, not talking about hurricane season in April, but this is about the time when we start getting forecasts and we're already seeing signals of what could be a very busy season. So let's get to it. This is from CSU, Colorado State University researchers. They put this uh, preseason forecast out. And what's interesting is not only an above average season, but they've never really forecasted this many. So named storms are thinking 23 named storms that effectively would have us run out of names. So we would go to a secondary list. 11 becoming hurricanes and then uh, five of those becoming intense hurricanes of category three or higher compared to the average. You see that's well above. Now the National Hurricane Center will have, of course, their official forecast that comes out in late May and that's more of a range, but I'm thinking the upper end of that range is going to be probably above 20. And the reason for that, we have several signals that are ongoing. Ocean heat is present, no question, at historic levels. La Nina is a setup that favors more hurricanes to develop, more storms to develop, because it lessens the wind shear across the Atlantic. And that's going to be on the low end as well. We had the opposite with El Nino last year. So quickly, briefly updating you on what La Nina is. And we get these cooler than normal sea surface temperatures across the eastern Pacific. That changes circulations and it changes the winds up above where the hurricanes form, right? And so now we have less wind shear in the Atlantic. Along with that, we add the ingredient of record heat in the Atlantic. And that, of course, is the hurricane fuel that we all talk about. Now, last year, we had this uh, Bermuda high that was able to kind of move everything to the west, but then eventually curve out to sea. I'm thinking at the beginning of the season, that is likely to be true. But we have signals that indicate that this high will strengthen and push a little bit further to the west. And, of course, that would be a problem because that would put in play the U.S. And so before they could curve out, they would make a move towards uh, the west. And again, every season is different and I want us to prepare for what could be certainly an active season here. But even if we get 30 storms, that doesn't necessarily mean that we get hit. And even if we get one storm, all we need is that bad storm. Remember, 1992 was a below average season and El Nino season. The first name on the list, Hurricane Andrew. We'll have